Hey smart buddies, let's get back to school and know more with the smart slate. Today we'll know more about egg idioms. So these are all the egg idioms which today you will know the meaning and will understand them. So let's begin. The very first idiom is go fry an egg. Go fry an egg means to go away or to leave someone alone. So when you leave alone someone, it means to go fry an egg. If you do not know about the subject, do not get in the way. Please, Jason, go fry an egg. So when you are angry and you say, please, go fry an egg. If you do not know the subject, do not get in the way. That means, leave me alone. You don't know about my situation or you don't know what I am angry about or I am pissed off about. Then, please do not interfere. Why am I having a fight with someone if you do not know the subject the topic the circumstances then please stay away from the situation so you can see in the idiom using the idiom go fry an egg you can't make an omelet without breaking someone's egg now this particular idiom uh, you can easily understand as it gives you meaning in uh, its particular or words so you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs obviously you ha will have to break eggs to have the uh, omelet so it means it is not possible to achieve something without bad or unpleasant side effects so even when you try to clean a coal mine your hands will get black even though the mine will be white after cleaning it or it will be cleaned uh, there will be no more black carpet in it, but still your hands will get black, so you will get dirty. So in order to achieve something, you will have some side effects of it or any unpleasant or bad outcomes as well to have the good results. So in the sentence you can say, Tipsa will have to undergo surgery to be a part of the next Olympics. You can't make an omelette without breaking some eggs. So, she had some fracture and she will have to go for the surgery. Fractures are a part of uh, achievements or surgeries are a part of the achievements. So, you will have to break some eggs to make an omelet. The same fire that melts the butter hardens the egg. Now, this particular idiom uh, means uh, toughening some and causing others to weaken or fail. It means the same experience will trigger different reactions in people. You may like it, others may not like it. Like someone will get tougher or someone will get weaker after that particular experience. In a sentence we can say, Newton and Edison went skydiving. Newton insisted on it again while Edison is still scared of the experience. It is the same fire that melts the butter, hardens the egg. Or you can also say it is the same fire that melted the butter but hardened the egg. That means Newton is excited or Newton got, uh, Newton became a tougher person and he wants the experience uh, uh, he wants the same experience again. He wants to experience skydiving again. But Edison is still scared. He is weakened or he is vulnerable now. After having the experience of skydiving, he is no more interested in having it. So it is the same fire that melts the butter, hardens the egg. Next is the next idiom is egg sucker. Egg sucker means uh, a flatterer or someone who seeks out the approval or attention or support of others, especially superiors, through abject subservience or flattery or fawning when you try to behave like a snobbish person or you exaggerate a lot about the situation. So here in a sentence you can say, Carol is an egg sucker do not trust her exaggerations. Or you can also say, 
Carol is an ex soccer do not trust his exaggerations. So the name can be used in both ways. Usually we say uh, Carol is an ex soccer do not trust her, do not trust his exaggerations. To walk on eggshells, to walk on eggshells, uh, now eggshells are uh, too delicate to walk on. So the idiom means to be very careful or not to offend or upset someone. In a sentence you can say, it's a walk on eggshells for us to be with Julia after knowing her mental condition. We have to be very careful uh, with our speech or you know, with our experience sharing with her because she is not in that particular mental state. So it's for us, it's like uh, to walk on eggshells. Next idiom is to be one egg short of a dozen. So to be one egg short of a dozen means not very intelligent. Or you can say a person of questionable mental capacity. In a sentence you can say Nancy refused to act to be one egg short of a dozen in the movie. So she refused to act to be one egg short of a dozen that means she was not happy with the given script where she will have to act like uh, an unintelligent person so she refused to act to uh, be one egg short of a dozen in a particular movie next is butter and egg money now butter and egg money is a money which usually a farmer's wife earns selling the extra produce or you can say it's not extra produce but uh, other uh, things uh, available in the farm. So extra money earned by farmer's wife by selling various things produced by the farm or in simple uh, language it is an extra money earned by farmer's wife. In a sentence we can say Kitty's family saved butter and egg money earned by selling various things produced by the farm or it's a butter and egg money for Kitty's family. Next idiom is to egg on someone. To egg on someone means to encourage someone to do something unwise, bad or negative thing. So when you try to encourage your friends to do something negative, unwise, usually when you try to encourage your friends to prank on someone or to bully others, uh, you can use the idiom that he tried to egg on me but I refused it. In a sentence you can say, Tim's boss tried to egg on him but he refused to make the false audit report. He encouraged him to be negative or to be unwise in his job or to act bad because in his profession he has to state the true and fair things in a statement but he tried to encourage him to prepare the false statements or to have misstatements. Next idiom is what do you want egg in your beer? So what do you want an egg in your beer? So it means the listener already had something good but is asking for undeservedly more. You already have too many things. You are already uh, a successful person but still uh, you want more things without having any efforts or uh, it is used when a person wants something for free. So at that time you can use the idiom what do you want again your beer you already have too many things or you are already good in your position but still you want to have again your beer in a sentence you can say you have reached great heights as per your circumstances now what do you want again your beer be happy be content in what you have can't boil an egg this is the very famous idiom you can say can't boil an egg. It means you can't even do a simple cooking. You are unable to cook even the simplest meal. You are grown up now and can't boil an egg for yourself. You all can boil, right? If you can, let me know in the comment section.
to be a hard egg to crack. Now, this particular idiom means to be a hard egg uh, to crack means a person or a thing or a situation or a problem that is particularly difficult to understand, solve or deal with. In a sentence, we can say, I do not understand how can Manny partner with Jessica. He is such a hard egg to crack. He is such a person or he is a, a person who is difficult to understand or deal with. I can't be with him for more than a minute. So how can she partner with him? How can she marry him? Or uh, how can you accompany such person? So he is a hard egg to crack. Next idiom is as sure as eggs is eggs. It means to be very certain that something will happen. I'm very sure eggs is eggs. Matthew estimated the fall in the stock market correctly. Sure as eggs is eggs. So he was too sure that uh, the stock market will have the miserable fall and it had a fall. So he was as sure as X is X. So we are done with the egg idioms. Thank you. Keep learning, keep growing, and stay subscribed for more such videos.